Greetings once again, all you muscle-headed magic users out there. Tuesdays Din back again with Mashal, Magic and Muscle. Previously, Mash has essentially been faking it till he makes it through most of his magic classes, using his brute strength, much like in the exam, to get into the school in order to fake having magical abilities, although some things he can't really fake so much. But he then becomes the target of a bully named Lloyd, whose father is a part of the Magic Council, who also has the vice principal of the school in his back pocket. Lloyd tricks Mash into believing that he'll put in a good word for Mash to go up the ranks of the magical community, but it's essentially just making Mash his manservant. Lloyd also uses Finn, Mash's roommate, to destroy a lot of his stuff, and as Mash continues to be pretty nice and thankful to Finn whenever Finn helps him out, willingly or otherwise, Finn's guilt overwhelms him, and he tries to beg Lloyd to stop treating Mash so violently. This puts Finn in Lloyd's crosshair, and when Lloyd assaults Finn, Mash comes in and promptly beats Lloyd up for doing so. Enter the vice principal, who tries to admonish her and expel Mash, who Mash tries to bury, which ends with Mash in Wahlberg's office, the headmaster. And while Wahlberg has received a notice to expel Mash, Wahlberg's having none of it, as he's long since seen the corruption of the magical community, and would prefer someone like Mash, who does things for the right reasons ultimately, to succeed in the magical community, saying that he'll handle the Bureau of Magic, and essentially he's on Mash's side to do what he was already here to do, become a divine visionary. But now, Mash has found himself in a duelo match, essentially this world's version of Quidditch, because the star player of the school, Tom Knoll, has seen Mash's broom riding skill and thinks that mash is just what he needs and the team needs to succeed how's mash gonna fake his way out of this one join me as i find out won't you another day at school yeah totally not harry potter mash was chosen as a player for duelo an aerial magic sword using broom and it's good it's essentially just basketball on broom however he can't use magic so he couldn't fly i want to go home yeah you should <laughs> Man, even the narrator's like, go home, kid. Oh, okay. I see the people in the white cloaks as the rival school for the duelo match. Okay, so they're fighting a rival school here. Okay. Makes sense. What are you doing? Get flying already. Is this match rigged? I actually need to start flying soon. What's wrong, Mash? Hey, Mash. No, Captain. Are you listening in a fire called Life? Is your heart throbbing? Uh, Life? I don't get it. <laughs> He's one of those burn with the fires of youth guys. He swore that he'd be number one. I didn't. Don't be complacent. I'm not. <laughs> Rush, remember the mighty bamboo. Bamboo? Bamboo can survive any climate. They're strong and supple. That is true. They're also very invasive to a certain extent. You bury bamboo and that thing will live. That's what you're lacking right now. And it's bamboo. <laughs> bamboo, bamboo, bamboo. This guy has to be high. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that line. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, he just snorted a line of coke before the match. Alright, I haven't told you the rules of Dulo left. Wouldn't that be something you tell him before the match? Seriously, pretty simple. We fight over control of the ball midair, pass it through the rings on our point. Oh, they're different dorms? Adler dorm and Lang dorm. Oh, I thought they were different schools. They're just different dorms. Huh, magic is forbidden. That's where it's all about your broom technique. Bamboo that can't fly or just shoots. He doesn't think at all before he speaks. This goes without saying, but I put everything into Dulo. That's why I recruited you. I'm heading back out there. It's all up to you now. Ooh, oh. Yeah, did he break something? Or Tom last year's Julo MVP of the year is Or Tom the sportsman whose stuffiness actually works well is Oh sorry, that was an accident. <laughs> yeah, right. Captain, uh uh. An additional point for a Lang Dorm. That yeah, forty point lead against Adler Dorm. Forty point lead? Jeez. Are you okay? Sorry, I think I broke a bone. Where's your sense of sportsmanship? Huh? Sportsmanship is nonsense. All that matters is winning. You think you would get like a foul or something for that? Uh, must not make very many rules for this sport, then, if he could just do that. Keep huddling, wusses. What a jerk. How pathetic. There isn't much time left. They got a huge lead. Ramash, I just want you to know. Winning isn't what matters. What matters is whether you gave it your all. 
Oh, he is a true sportsman. Jeez. Another point for Lang Dorm. The lead be impossible to diminish. With two down, it's only natural to we win. Uh, uh. Oh, <laughs> right? He's not gonna just jump. He flew. Hey, look, he stopped in midair. You're kidding me. He's able to fly? <laughs> He's kicking so hard, he's keeping- Holy shit, that's- That's so silly. He sure is kicking his legs a lot. <laughs> Time for a thrashing. Hey, pass it here. Uh, sure. <laughs> hey, he's got the ball. What's he gonna do from that distance? Is he choking? Can't he ride a broom. What makes him think? Take it from you, no- you nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get caught in its wake. Wow, it's amazing. <laughs> oh my god. Out of the door scores. What an amazing shot. It's still down 49 points. Time's nearly up. Wait, look at the ball. <laughs> Wait, what? He <laughs> yo-yoed it back to him. <laughs> that's, that's not physically possible. <laughs> <laughs> With two fingers. Uh, natural strong fingers. The curveball was out of this world. <laughs> I say there's no way that nobody would think he's using magical abilities, but... <laughs> I mean, he must have something that would sense magic besides keeping your broom aloft, I would assume. Jeez, that's so ridiculous. <laughs> No way. What the freaky? That score is undeniable. One of the first duel of match of the season is Adler Dorm. Not bad for a looky looky fungus. Everyone calls him a fungus. Sorry for telling you to go home. So sorry for throwing garbage at you. Mash and Adler Dorm team scored a record high. And we're given silver coins. Hey, nice, he got his first one. That's not really coin shape. What's with the shape, right? <laughs> Such a weird shape for a coin. Oh, that was an amazing game. And he got a silver coin as soon as after transferring here. Thanks, but I'm never doing that again. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm not doing that again. No, thank you. Hey, Mash. <laughs> Jeez, that entourage. It's Lord Tom. Oh, what's going on? Aw, thank you. You turned out to be a great bamboo. <laughs> you really grew out there, bamboo. You overshot me, bamboo. Did you feel it? Aw, I really don't get along with this type at all. <laughs> Even the students are like patting his head. First year student, Mash. There's a key player of the game who broke the record of the game's score. Uh oh. New enemy said in an interview he credits his success to his upperclassmen's exuberant encouragement, right? And a humble answer despite such a great record. The one for the entrance is in. Oh, oh, jeez. You risk failing for a complete strange. Oh, oh, it's the dude from the opening. Ah, so he starts out as an enemy and becomes a friend. I wonder. I mean, the way he became friends with Finn was interesting. Ah, what was this guy's name? Huh, what naivete. He'll be next. Oh, right, he has some kind of obsession with his sister. I can only tell because, like, he has a blanket in the ending that says, like, my sister or something? Like, um... Oh god, what if he's, like, Lemon's older brother or something? Yeah. And the next day... Mash, it's time for the doula practice. She for stars, even if you miss your land amongst your dreams. Oh god. Mash, I heard you have trouble studying, so let's study together. Oh, what's with that mountain of books? You swear you mean you take your top together. I didn't. I <laughs> potion magic history, enchantment, divi divination, and way too much. Don't be so complacent. Yeah, bamboo, bamboo. Yeah, to properly study magical creatures in the dark arts as well. What's important is bamboo. You'll learn about your dreams with <laughs> God, Finn, help me. <laughs> He's fast asleep, traitor. The head of yours is not a mushroom, but a bamboo. God, Tom, I need you to stop. You seem to be having fun. Uh-oh, is it him? Mind if I join? Lance Crown. Okay, Lance. Lance the Dragon Master. I'm sorry, all of these names make me think of another person. <laughs> this guy, he has two marks. I've never seen him before. Wait. Two marks. Okay, so the line marks have different meanings? Have we seen someone with two marks? I don't remember now. <laughs> I just, I'm like, I'm just used to the line marks, but I, I didn't know there was more of a meaning to them. Could it be a first year? The Flint's crown, he ranked first in the entrance exam. Oh, seeing up close. He's a total hottie. Oh my goodness. I can't, I've given my heart to someone else. Ah, oh, Lemon. No, uh, it's not fun. I see, then let's do something that is fun. Something fun. Hide and seek. <laughs> Definitely not hide and seek. This is a lot of special magical tool. Uh-oh. It's quite ancient. Huh. Oh! Oh boy. 
Okay, so he honed in on Mash doing just about anything for his friends, so is he kind of trying to coax Mash into doing something? But as you can see, I'm capable of trapping people. What is this? What in the world? It's like in a small place with two guys has compliance issues. Not standard and practice is approved. If you want it back, come before us next to the Owl Hut. I'll be waiting. And he's gone. Man, again, the background track is going off for no reason. <laughs> okay, gonna throw it down. What's this about? Call it a bet. After them, you're after them too, aren't you? These coins. A silver coin. And he's got two of them. I thought only a select number of upperclassmen had them. And the lines of your mark, mark reveal the amount of magical power you currently have. Really? Huh. I feel like we've only ever seen about two lines though. So would that mean ha the amount of magical power you're naturally born with? That is really bad news. Oh, a single line magic user. A term used to specify those with just one mark on their face. Okay. The majority of people in this world are single line magic users, but there are rare exceptions with multiple marks. Okay. Double line magic users. Their existence in this realm is a rate of one in a hundred thousand. Oh. They're considered to be chosen by magic itself. Okay, yeah, so like I thought. That means they're, whereas you have the people born with one line, they're just like, okay, yeah, standard magical users, pretty much everyone has it. But double lines means it's just like, okay, these people, they're just born with high magical ability. They're naturals, essentially. You know, we're making a big deal out of this, but more than likely we'll see nothing but double line students and magic users from here on out. We'll bet each other silver coins in the match. We'll go until the loser can no longer continue to give up. Any other duel involving magic is considered taboo in this school. Not that you have any choice but to accept. Not as long as I hold this, that is. And judging by your personality, the fact that I even possess the plays in my favor. Not that I need a handicap. It would be easy enough to tell who would win. During the entry exams, you were too soft. Huh. You probably did someone else, even over your own goal. I could never lose against a slacker like that. <laughs> what makes him a slacker? He chose the hardest route. Don't do it, Mash. He's dangerous. It's over. My life is going to end. Finn, calm your ass down. That's right. I've got a bad feeling about him. What's wrong? Too scared to respond? <laughs> Did he fall asleep during the explanation? No, enough of that. Hurry up and get it over with. Nice. At least you got spirit. But first, let's make things a bit easier. Gravioli. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so he uses gravity magic. I wonder if Mash is doing okay. I'm worried. No, I'm talking about my profits. Oh, I see. Oh. Oh, jeez. What the hell is that? Jeez. Ah, so he has naturally gravity magic. This makes things easier. Flashy performances are unnecessary. Trying to win against me without magic? Gravioli. Ooh, Mash, are you being serious? You're yeah, acting so half-heartedly. Do you have any aspiration at all? Of course you don't. And yet you possess a silver coin. But I don't need anyone encroaching on my, my playing field. I'll be the last the one standing, nobody else. Come like you can spend our lives rolling across the ground. Yeah, of course, trying to stand is futile. No human can withstand this gravity. This is the worst opponent who could naturally go up against MASH. It's just weight training! <laughs> oh, I can do enough without standing. Oh, whoa, a root? The earth split. Roots? That's ridiculous. Oh, do you actually like rolling on the ground too? <laughs> Die. That clap back. Uh-oh. He's coming in! He put up his dukes! Gravioli! Oof! Oh! <laughs> He's faster than earlier. Oh! Dropped his sister pendant, didn't he? What's this? <laughs> He's a lollicon. I have to call the police. He's a criminal. I'm not. So you're aiming to be one. I said I'm not. I don't have a lolita complex. I have a sister complex! <laughs> oh god. And he says it so brazenly. That makes it better. Give it back. Oh, okay. Let me ask you, mushroom head. What's the most precious thing in this world? Put me on the spot here. Cream pu- Wrong. Human life. Wrong. Love. Wrong. Freedom. Wrong. Is it little sisters? Cream puff. <laughs> he went back to cream puffs. Wrong, 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 wrong. Why can't you answer immediately? One plus one is two. Yellow and blue makes green. The answers are obvious. So what is the most precious thing in the world? My little sister. <laughs> Everyone's got different priorities, don't they? <laughs> I love his reaction. It's just like, uh, everybody's different. I am completely disgusted. <laughs> this world is full of idiot creepy. <laughs> I'm gonna drop this bottle off the cliff. Then I'll speed up its fall with my magic. What? We'll try to grab the bottle and save your friend. And that's when I'll attack you. Sorry. I could become endless demonic for my little sister's sake. Endlessly. Aw. You got in another fight, didn't you? 
I didn't especially a lot. Here, sit down so I can heal you. So, why did you get into a fight? That Tristan had a nasty fall. See, a lie. It's such a bad lie. She is adorable. I mean, uh, you're not even trying. Oh, yeah. Aw. Maybe you saved a kid who was being bullied. That's why I took note of you. And you came back injured like this, right? See, but I love how you're clumsy and kind like that. Aw. I see. You stop moving. I can't heal you. Oh! That's pretty damn charming, I will admit. Sorry, I don't know, I don't know. Uh-oh. Apparently, it's an incurable disease that will strip her of her market magical ability. The doctor said she has five years at best. Five years? If she loses her magic, we'll have to hand her over to the government. What? But if we do that, Anna will. I'm sure we'll have no choice. Why was a child like this born from our brood? Whoa! <coughs> what the hell? This is for your sick as well, Lance. Jeez. No way. How can I accept something so cruel? My little sister didn't do anything. Don't touch me. You guys aren't our parents anymore. And I'll make sure the Bureau of Magic made this rotten system. I'll become a divine vision and make sure to save you. Mm. For your sake, Anna, I'll become Ravio. Hey, how will you do mushroom head? Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, hamstring magic. Hamstring magic. I never heard of any spell like that. So he's in Big Bang Dash. Starting position. Choice of losing and the choice of not rescuing. Neither exists for me. Jeez. Whoa. Did he just go straight down? Holy shit. Did he really run down the cliff, catch the ball, and come back up in this one instant? Unbelievable. Is he using physical enhancement magic? I'm surprised that's not the direct go-to for everyone. <laughs> <laughs> that is the only explanation for even a third of what he's doing. No, I can't falter now. I need help my little sister. Let's stop this. You don't seem like a bad guy. Well, I don't think we should be fighting. Oh, He senses his innocence. The bottle was empty. It's a fake. Oh, so he didn't even drop the actual bottle. Ah, uh, okay. Where is he keeping the actual one? Again, the background track is going off. Like the hell. Oh, whoa, whoa. Is he searching him? And we're done. Ah, uh, there we go. Why? Oh, if you keep going, you might win silver coins. Are you screwing with me? No, not really. Then why? I guess. I'm too clumsy to make rational decisions about everything. <laughs> I love how you're clumsy and kind like that. Oh. Ah, the kind of person hers. His little sister like. What a wet blanket. I'm heading back. It's like you said, we'll stop fighting here. But I did make a bet with you. Take it. Mm. Oh, I get it. They're they're all triangle. They're shaped weird because they all make up one pole coin. It took me seeing that piece to be like, that looks like the edge of a coin. Like like you pizza a coin or something. That makes sense. If we fought for real, I wonder what would have happened. Uh, that's an interesting way of saying that he might be... Stronger than he let on. Thank you, Mash. I was so scared. I had faith in you that you could pull it off. Mash, to be modest, I want you to marry me. <laughs> to be modest, I want you to marry me. Bamboo. It is indeed bamboo. What kind of house would you like? Of course, the roof will be. Oh, God. In the end, Lance was a pretty good guy. And Mash had a thought. Uh-oh. It would have been better to open the bottle after returning to the academy. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, man. God, I can't tell which part I love the most. <laughs> Just Mash running in the air and using a ball as a boomerang. Or... <laughs> yeah, he outright has a blanket that says, My sister Anna. Oh, my God. Like, it's a sweet motivation. And he doesn't seem to, like, be romantically interested in his sister or anything. He even has a locket next to his pillow. But it's more of, like do it for her kind of situation and when does lemon get the mash doll like when does that happen and when can i get one and he does he normally go out in a suit like damn dude and it's a good thing he only cares about his sister wouldn't leave anybody for the rest of it. I'm just realizing the book he's reading says Photo Sister. Oh boy. So do they all end up with a love of cream puffs? Because <laughs> it's hard to tell from the opening and ending. Like, do they all end up loving cream puffs? But look, this is cool. I love that his ability, well, his preference is gravity magic. And that's such an interesting thing for MASH to go up against because it's obvious he would be able to overcome it. It makes me wonder, does Finn have a natural affinity for a certain kind of magic? 
What about lemon? Is it mostly just binding magic, or is it something more than that? And now we're just waiting on the red-haired kid. The red-haired kid makes me think of Lavi from uh, The Gray Man. So that's the only one we're missing right now. And I would say he seems like a bit of a goofball, but it's really hard to register right now because everybody in this series is certain kind of goofball. But it's been fun. Every display of Mash's ridiculous strength is a good time. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Is Tom going to be end up becoming more prominent than he seems at the moment? And what about Lance? How do you feel about him? While he does have... A an admitted sister complex it comes from a good place at the very least so while they do paint it as creepy they haven't pushed the creepy factor it, it is an unhealthy obsession but it feels more like a remember what you fight for kind of situation or maybe i just want to view it that way but again let me know your thoughts in the comment section below remember to subscribe for more mashal and until then i've been deuce this then thanks for watching and i hope to see you in the next one take care Bye-bye.